Okay, today I'm going to talk about a hardware wallet with two purposes, ease of use and security. So some, some of the current challenges that you have with blockchain and or DLT applications is the difficulty and hassle of managing pins, passwords or passphrases, especially the onboarding process. We also have the challenge of actually managing those private keys, those 64-digit private keys thereafter, as well as multi-signature applications, some of the challenges that we face today. We are targeting a very frictionless and secure solution to that. And it applies beyond just cryptocurrency, although cryptocurrency is certainly uh, the largest of the blockchain applications today. Anytime you're exchanging keys and have to manage those keys, Think of this as a key management tool. We do that with enhanced biometrics. So the biometrics replace the pin that is needed to transact. It also is part of the onboarding process that reduces that down to 45, or from 45 minutes down to about a minute and a half. Uh, we do that by detecting blood flow as well as getting a thermal signature from the finger in addition to reading the fingerprint itself. We also have patented encryption. Now this is not your typical 256-bit uh, encryption. This encryption, the keys of the encryption actually change at a rate as high as 54,000 times a second. It is not a random number generator that created those keys, and therefore the brute force methods do not apply. We also have a sequence of prints. That could either be a sequence of your own fingerprints for an individual user, or it can also be an M of N in a multi-signature application. This is not our first go-round. This is not our first company. This is not our first opportunity. We do have some gray hairs in the room. My expertise is hardware. This is a hardware play. I've been in the hardware business for 20 years. I've done this internationally. I know it's difficult, but I know how to do it. Tony Zakula is our CTO. He's software. We've got a, a founder and our angel investor. Our advisory board is made up of people who with, with specialties that we care about. For example, one of our members, uh, of our advisory board was a former member of the red team at the Pentagon, focusing on encryption. We have a multidisciplinary development team that is at our disposal. Part of our team is in Europe, part of our team is in the United States. Uh, also with deep experience in user interface, user experience, and that's really what we, we are focused on, is making this a very easy to use device. Global distribution and scale. I know how to scale hardware. The CTO knows how to scale software. Today, a, a great business opportunity, a great technology is no good if you cannot scale it. We know how to do this globally. We're looking for two and a half million dollars of funding that would help us do that scaling as well as launch the product. Uh, it will also cover the manufacturing and some of the inventory that we need to launch as well as an IPO. Our development timeline, we started with a demo unit that I'd be happy to show any of you that are interested uh, in the other room here after my presentation. We also have beta units that are coming out in December and with a basic launch in February, and then we'll be adding in the multi-sig and our Gen 2 hardware device, and then a Reg A is planned for about a year from now. We plan on, well, today we have a Reg D as the vehicle that we can take funding. Our plan is for a Reg A plus, as well as an STO. That is our contact information. Now I would open it up for any questions that you have. Perfect timing, so here we go. David Robach. Hi, yes, look. Is it working? Okay, yes. quick question. Are you, are, you, are you in a token offering or an equity raise right now? We're equity right now. And so, so we're doing an STO? Or we're, we're not doing an STO right now. We're, we've got a Reg D. Okay. Yep. Hi. Uh, I have another question. So compared with the other like 
hardware wallets, like Ledger, so yes. what's the difference? It is ease of use. We also feel that the biometrics, as well as the encryption, add a layer of security. So for example, Ledger and Tracer both were hacked. They got access to the file, they cracked the encryption, because it was just standard random number generator encryption. You can't do that with ours. Um, I think I guess I'll go first. Um, I just want to ask about what kind of risk of uh, the pace of change in the biometrics field um, if you develop a product and then biometrics moves very rapidly, what kind of risk do you have to your product development? Well, we, we are planning on multiple products and enhancing that biometrics as it evolves. So yes, we, that's part of the two and a half million dollars is we're already going to be launching in that two and a half million, we'll be launching our second product with enhanced biometrics. Yes. Thank you. Hey, uh, so you said that you're, you know how to scale hardware sales. Can you talk about why you know how to scale hardware sales? Because there's a crowded market. Yes, so there's a couple of things. We feel that there's a business to business play as well as a business to consumer play. The consumer play is probably going to be a slower start. The business to business, we're already engaging with banks in the Midwest and in Switzerland. We've got an exchange in London that wants to adopt and integrate our hardware with their exchange. I think the business to business can scale quickly. In a hardware business, what's challenging is actually meeting demand. If, you're, if you guys are familiar with Ledger and Tracer and some of those, they had challenges where they were constantly out of stock excuse me, out of stock because they didn't have the inventory. So part of scaling is actually having the availability of product to sell. And I think that's where we specialize. Other questions? Well, it seems like we are out of questions. Unless you know that, yes, we do have questions on the other side of the, of the audience. We're gonna get you a mic very soon. I see Gary there, right? Okay, the mic is running. Yes, we, we do have financial statements and projections, uh, including the use of proceeds, and they are available. Absolutely. Any other questions? We have one more right here. So you talk about the uh, encryption and the um, uh, no, fingerprint feature to unlock the, the wallet. How are you going to protect the hardware inside the box? So we have a self-destruct feature. First of all, you can't take it apart, and if you tried to just cut the case over, we have a self-destruct feature that wipes out the memory so it's not there. Thanks. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Is there a seed phrase? I mean, how do you recover? Yes, yeah, so there, w there will be a seed, and uh, the biometrics will be part of that seed, but there will be a pin to activate the seed, that one-time seed. Yes. How Great about question. ease yes. of use? Oh, excuse me. How about ease of use? The ease of use. So our onboarding, which I can demonstrate, our onboarding takes about a minute and a half, for example, to actually set up the wallet. If you have a seed and you want to set that up and get access to your accounts, it's very straightforward, very simple. It's no longer that 45 minutes of up and down arrow for the alphabet. Yes, ma'am? What price point are you aiming at? Our basic product would be about $129 USD. Yes, sir? Uh, yes. Will you be or have you already hosted any kind of uh, uh, hack competition, anything to be able to test your the rigidity of your system? We have not done that yet. That's planned for the beta units. Got it. But yes, we will. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I think we have an excellent number of questions. However, we run out of time. So thank you very much. Round of applause. Come over and you see can, me. You can know, come you. over and ask those questions later. Yeah. Thank you very much. Clicker is mine. <laughs>